Amusement parks are places where dreams collide with reality, where joy intertwines with fear, and where moments of exhilaration can quickly turn into nightmares. But amidst the flashing lights and dizzying rides lies a darker truth, a truth of accidents, tragedies, and lives lost in pursuit of thrills. In this video, we delve into the chilling world of death accidents that have marred the history of amusement parks around the world. On July 26, 2017, tragedy struck at the Ohio State Fair when a catastrophic malfunction occurred on the Fireball Ride. The Fireball Ride, a pendulum-style thrill ride that swings passengers back and forth while spinning them in the air, experienced a critical failure while in motion. During one of the swings, a row of seats detached from the main structure of the ride, causing passengers to be flung violently through the air. Tyler Jarrell, an 18-year-old high school student, was tragically killed upon impact and seven others suffered severe injuries as a result of the incident. Eyewitnesses described a horrifying scene as the detached seats struck by standards and caused chaos in surrounding area. Emergency responders rushed to the scene to provide medical assistance to the injured and transport them to nearby hospitals for treatment. The investigation into the accident revealed that excessive corrosion on the fireball ride support beam led to the catastrophic failure. The accidents that could lead to the death are often the fault of the people themselves. One of these accidents occurred on August 13, 2015, Cedar Point Amusement Park in Ohio. A man named James Young was tragically killed after entering a restricted area to retrieve a cell phone he had dropped while riding the Raptor roller coaster. Young had been on the ride with his friends when his phone slipped out of his pocket. After the ride ended, he climbed over two fences and ignored warning signs to retrieve his phone from a restricted area beneath the roller coaster's track. While searching for his phone, Young was struck by a coaster's moving train and suffered fatal injuries. The incident prompted investigations by board Cedar Point and the Ohio Department of Agriculture's Division of Amusement Rights Safety, and the park was temporarily closed. Cedar Point released a statement expressing condolences to Young's family and emphasized the importance of adhering to safety rules and regulations while visiting the park. Eva Janet, an 11-year-old girl from Lister, tragically lost her life in an incident at Drayton Main at Theme Park on May 9, 2017. She was visiting the park on an end-of-year school trip with her classmates from Jamea Girls Academy when the incident occurred. While riding the Splash Canyon water attraction with her classmates, Eva attempted to switch seats with a classmate. However, during this moment, their inflatable raft struck a rock, causing Eva to be thrown into the water. The girl was reportedly propelled from the vessel she was riding in and into a 12-foot deep pool of water. Despite efforts to rescue her, she tragically drowned. She was retrieved from the water already deceased. Investigations revealed that she suffered a severe head injury upon impact, rendering her unable to attempt an escape. Park staff immediately responded to the incident, but despite their efforts, Eva suffered fatal injuries upon impact. The incident sparked investigations into safety procedures and protocols at the park. It was later revealed that there was systematic safety failures at Drayton Manor, leading to the park's operators being fined one million pounds. The Virac water slide accident at Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City occurred on August 7, 2016. Caleb Schwab, the 10-year-old boy, was riding the Virac water slide, which was marketed as the world's tallest water slide. During the ride, Caleb experienced a tragic accident. The raft on which he was riding became airborne as it ascended the second hump 
colliding with the metal support of the netting and tragically causing his decapitation. It was later revealed that the accident was attributed to a harness malfunction. The Varric water slide featured a raft with multiple riders that plummeted down a steep, 17-story drop reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Following the incident, the Varric water slide was permanently closed and investigations were launched to determine the cause of the accident. Legal proceedings ensued with charges brought against individuals and entities involved in the design, construction, and operation of the water slide. The accident involving Debbie Stone occurred on July 8, 1974, at Disneyland in Nanaheim, California. Debbie Stone was a 19-year-old hostess working at the attraction America Sings in Disneyland's Tomorrowland area. During one of her shifts, Stone was caught between a rotating wall and a stationary wall while transitioning between scenes in the attraction. Tragically, she was crushed by the moving wall and sustained fatal injuries. The incident was a result of a mechanical malfunction in the attraction's rotating stage, which failed to detect Stone's presence as it moved. Stone's death was ruled accidental, but it prompted safety improvements and revisions to the attraction's operating procedures at Disneyland. As we conclude our exploration of fatal accidents in amusement parks, it's essential to remember that safety should always be a top priority in these exciting attractions. While amusement parks offer thrilling experience and unforgettable moments, tragedies can occur when safety measures are overlooked or ignored. Thank you for watching and may we all enjoy the thrills of amusement parks responsibly and safely. Until then, stay curious and stay safe.